So if you've ever had a problem with sensor dust, which I have way too many times because I have a D600, masking it out in post can be really challenging. And looking online, there's not a lot of tutorials that make it easy to do or they don't, they don't have very many great ways to do it, in my opinion, especially if you have really, really bad sensor dust in a shot like I do right here. Um, if you go through, I mean, this is ridiculous. That's like borderline not even usable. But I'll show you what I found to be the quickest and easiest way to clean it up. And you can do it with Premiere Pro and Photoshop. So first thing you want to do is find a, a good still that makes it clear where all the sensor dust is. So I'm going to go right here and this looks pretty good. Then you're going to want to export a frame. I'll call it um, screenshot. And then go into Photoshop and grab your frame, open it up, and then make a new layer. Zoom in, grab a brush, uh, make it about the size that will just barely cover the whatever, whatever size the dust is, and make sure your hardness is all the way up and you're going to grab a color that is really really vibrant. You don't want a color that um, is already present in your screenshot at all. So I'm using a very bright green. Then you're going to go around and just draw over the dust. And depending on how much you have it can either take a, you know 10 seconds or maybe a minute. For me, this is like pretty much worst case scenario. So that looks like just about it. Um, all right, next you're gonna wanna turn off your background layer so you just have the paint that you put on. And you're going to save it as a PNG because you wanna preserve the um, transparency of this. So I'm gonna call this Mask 1. And then go back into Premiere and you're going to import the mask you just made. And then you're going to bring it on top of your footage, stretch it out so it covers the whole duration of the clip. And then make sure you have three video um, tracks here. And then take your actual footage and duplicate it once so you have you have it twice. Now on this on this top on the top two layers you're going to have your mask that you just made and then you're going to have your footage unedited and then um, go to nest and then you'll have essentially a merged merge clip if you want to think about it in Photoshop terms you're like merging the layers basically um, and now below that you have your original footage now in the original footage you're going to add an effect called dust and scratches and then zoom into 100% so you can see and you're going to try and remove your sensor dust by adjusting the radius. And you want to do it as little as possible. You don't want to have, um, you don't want to go overboard because you, you want to preserve as much detail as possible. So for me, it looks like about uh, probably 10, about 10. And then uh, maybe I can get away with that. I'll try nine. So now that's done. Now what you want to do is basically um, use your mask that you made on this other layer and you want to mask out the spots you painted in so that way you reveal dust and scratches below that. So to do that, select your nested sequence here and add an effect called color key. And then using the eyedropper tool here, in the settings for color key. You're going to click on the uh, color that you have, zoom in, and then you'll get a little bit of an outline. And if you used a brush that wasn't, didn't have a hard edge, you'd have even more of an outline here. That's why we selected a brush with a hard outline. And um, 
you can adjust your edge thin to kind of get rid of that. So if you bring that up to, it's like I can get away with like three there. So that three, you know, you can't see any more of that green. And what's that doing? What that's doing is um, you're seeing through your clip right here, and you're seeing this clip below. And uh, yeah, that's basically it. So now, in order to actually color grade your footage, you're going to want to nest these again. Um, so that way, you can apply one effect to the entire clip. But as you can see, it does a really good job of removing the sensor dust. The only problem is if your subject gets in the actual mask, you can really start to see the the effect. So you you still really got to be picky of how you're using it. And uh, yeah, if you're if you're like me and you got a lot of sensor dust, it's gonna make your life difficult. But this is a really quick way to mask it out.